now let's discuss about the third part of the culture media discussion where we, we will be discussing about the differential or the indicator media what is the literal meaning of this differential or the indicator media indicator is suggesting us that there must be some indicator used in a media which will be helping us in differentiating between two groups of bacteria like lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting bacteria this is a type of differentiation and that is done with the help of some indicator used in in a particular media so that's the literal meaning of the differential or the indicator media see here what i have written is that these are those medias which help in differentiating between two group of bacteria by which by using a indicator that gives rise to a visible color change so in all the differential or the indicator media there are certain points which we should never forget that is the different groups of bacteria that it is that it is differentiating that is first point and then the indicator used that is the second point so what is the indicator used that we should not forget and then what is the type of color change what is the type of color change that is the third point so these are the three points we should not forget for the all the for all the differential or the indicator media so we will see all the differential or the indicator medias in these three points only in these three points only we will see all the differential and the indicator media let's see how so coming to the examples of the differential and the indicator media so the first of all we have the mcconkey agar we have the first of all we have the mcconkey agar so what is the constituents of the mcconkey agar this there is a very famous mnemonic that is plant so by plant you can remember the constituents of the mcconkey agar p for pepton l for lactose a for agar then n for neutral red and t for tauro collate so these are the plant constituents of the mcconkey agar the, what is the indicator that we use in the case of the mcconkey agar is the neutral red this is the neutral red and it differentiating it differentiates between two groups of bacteria and what are those those are the lactose fermenting and the non lactose fermenting bacteria so it divides the bacteria into two groups lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting so for example we have e coli the e coli is a lactose fermenting bacteria so how uh, how does uh, the color changes when e coli is allowed to grow on the mcconkey agar so it changes the color to the pink so if the mcconkey agar the color of the mcconkey agar changes to pink i mean the pink colonies are produced on the mcconkey agar that means it is a lactose fermenting bacteria that is a soft signal that it is a lactose fermenting bacteria okay so and if the colonies are colorless that means it is a non lactose fermenting bacteria so what is the indicator in mcconkey neutral red and the what is the color produced that is the pink colored colonies pink colored colonies indicates that it is a lactose fermenting bacteria the next differential media is the clade agar what is the full form that is the cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar and what is the indicator in that clade agar the indicator is the very famous bromothymol blue bromothymol blue okay and it is also differentiating between the lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting bacteria so how does this color produces so e coli is a example of the lactose fermenting bacteria and what type of color does it produce so it produces the yellow colored colonies the yellow colored colonies indicates that there is a growth of a lactose fermenting bacteria on the clade agar what is the indicator that is the bromothymol blue the next the next differential media that we are going to talk is the christensen agar christensen's urea agar the next what we have is the christensen's urea agar okay the christensen's urea agar also the uh, the christensen's urea agar contains the phenol red as the indicator it contains the phenol red as the indicator and what type, uh, what is the group of bacteria that it differentiate so it differentiate between two groups of bacteria that is the urea producers i mean sorry the urease producer 
and non urease producer bacteria the urease producer bacteria and the non urease producer bacteria so we have the urease producing bacteria the proteus and the klebsiella these are the two urease producing bacteria urease positive bacteria so what is the as they produce the urease what is the function of urease the function of urease or the property of urease is to break down the urea and the when the urea is broken down it is converted to ammonia ammonia is alkaline and when it is alkaline substance uh, is produced then phenol red is converted to pink colonies okay phenol red is converted to pink colonies so that's how we see the pink colonies in the case of the urease producer bacteria and if it is not a urease producer bacteria that means there will be no pink colonies simple so th that's how this christensen urea agar helps us in differentiating between the urease producer and non urease producer bacteria next what we have is the mannitol salt agar okay so next what we have is the mannitol salt agar this also contains the phenol red as the indicator phenol red is the indicator so it differentiate between the mannitol fermenting bacteria and the non mannitol fermenting bacteria like the staph aureus staph aureus is a mannitol fermenting bacteria and that is known when it produces yellow colored colonies so if the staph aureus produces yellow colored colonies that means it is a mannitol fermenting bacteria okay so that's the that's how mannitol salt agar also act as the differential media then we have also the tcbs agar tcbs agar the full form is the thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar this also contains bromothymol blue as the indicator bromothymol blue as the indicator okay and then this differentiates between the sucrose fermenting and the non sucrose fermenting bacteria okay so this differentiates between sucrose fermenting and non sucrose fermenting bacteria the example is the vibrio cholerae the vibrio cholerae is a sucrose fermenting bacteria that hence it produces yellow colored colonies and if the yellow colored yellow colored colonies are not produced on the tcbs agar that means the organism is not a sucrose fermenting organism okay the yellow colored will only be produced if it is a sucrose fermenting organism the indicator here is the bromothymol blue the indicator is our bromothymol blue so let's revise once again we talked about the we talked about the maconkey agar first of all maconkey agar contains plant that is peptone lactose agar neutral red and tauro colate it contains a indicator that is neutral red differentiates between lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting bacteria the lactose fermenting bacteria produces a pink colored colonies then we talked about the clade agar that is the cysteine lactose electrolyte deficient agar this contains a indicator that is bromothymol blue and differentiates between lactose fermenting and non lactose fermenting out of which the lactose fermenting bacteria produces yellow colored colonies yellow colored colonies then we talked about the christensen's urea agar that differentiates between the urease producer and non urease producer organisms and contains the phenol red as the indicator so like the klebsiella and the proteus they are urease producers they produce the pink color colonies why because alkaline ph is produced as they grow over the media then we talked about the mannitol salt agar this mannitol salt agar contains phenol red as the indicator and this differentiate between mannitol fermenting and non mannitol fermenting bacteria like the staph aureus which is a mannitol fermenting hence it produces yellow colored colonies next we talked about the thiosulfate citrate bile salt agar bile salt sucrose agar that is tcbs agar which contains bromothymol blue and that is the vibrio cholerae that is a sucrose fermenting organism that produces yellow colored colonies yellow colored colonies so these are all the differential medias which are helpful in differentiating between different types of or different groups of microorganisms so the indicator is bromothymol blue in clade agar and thiosulfate citrate bile salt agar tcbs and clade remember the short forms the tcbs and the 
clade the salt forms tcgs and clade contains the bromothymol blue contains the salt name contains the bromothymol blue and then this cristensens and the mannitol contains the phenol red contains the phenol red while the neutral red is present only in the maconkey neutral red is present only in the maconkey okay please remember these indicators and the examples and the different color changes so this is all about the differential media so by this we come to an end of the discussion of the culture medias